Oh, swell. He's got it, yes. Oh, it's a better fish, I think. Oh, it's a better fish, I think. All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you're all doing well. So today's video, I did film the outro while I was there, but lost my wind muff for the mic. So, redoing at home now. But today's video, we're doing some top water fishing from my e-rider kayak. It was my first session out on the kayak. I filmed a video in the first part of the session, which is already on. I'll leave a link to that uh, somewhere. <laughs> and yeah, fishing was tough. Decided because it was super windy, I was going to finish that video and just do a bit of top water fishing. So headed out with the Spitfire from Headbang Alert. Had a lot of action on this the first time I used it, so yeah, I wanted to get out with it again. And I've also got a new rod for top water fishing as well. This is a new model of the Lamostique. This is a 7 to 21 gram version of the casting rod. There was already a 7 to 21 gram spinning version, but yeah, they've brought a casting version of that out now. Um, so this is like my dedicated top water session now. It's a little bit heavier than the other, you know, casting Lamostique. There's a 2 to 10 gram and a 4 to 14. So 7 to 21, it's a bit, bit more suited for heavy perch fishing or like I say, top water. So a little bit of a light top water setup. Throwing some frogs. Um, stuff like this head banger and uh, yeah it works pretty good as you should see in this video caught quite a few fish had a good time so uh, yeah tow videos video is always fun to film I enjoyed filming it hope you guys enjoy watching it and yeah I'm gonna let it roll Ooh, right Let's see if this pipe will be a top water fished for three hours with normal lures I'm like really struggled to be fair had quite a few hits that i missed though so we're going back over that same bit of water hopefully get one of those fish or a few of those fish to come back and smash the surface there feel a bit more confident with this um just because of how weed it is really can cast into a few areas that i couldn't cast into with the other baits um yeah see what happens There we go, <laughs> that was second cast. That was second cast with the top water. Oh my god. Okay, this will work. <laughs> Man, only a little jack, but that was real cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's off. No way. Great on it then. I've just said before though, really struggle with hook sets with this headbanger. Like the fish love it, but it's really hard to get a hook up for some reason. Well, he's got it. Yes, there we go. Hooked up finally. It's a, don't throw the hook, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man, he's digging. He's digging. He's proper digging down in that weed. He's really easy. Getting that down so I don't flip off. Here we go. Lead a touch. Okay, we got one on the top water. Saw him swirl on it. Came back for it. Ain't a big fish, but he, uh, yeah, wanted it. This works right in the edge where I expected him. And somewhere where you can't get with a normal bait. Okay, really quick. Somewhere where no chance that I get a cast in with, you know, a shad or a jerk bait or anything. So, there we go. First fish. Don't know what's going on with that, but. Hopefully it'll be all right. And uh, yeah, let's catch another one. Nice to get hooked up finally. <laughs> I'd say finally, let me see. 40 minutes that took, not too long. Got about an hour left on the memory card. 
should hopefully pick up another one in that time. I mean, we've missed two and had one, so that's not bad going, really. Oh, got him. Oh, he's gone straight into weed. That's a better fish, I think. Oh, it's a better fish, I think. <laughs> that was on a pause, that. Yes. Yes. Is he a better fish? It ran really good then. Um, hard to tell. I think it is, though. I'm not really... Yeah, it's better. It's just going straight into that weed. Ooh. That might be one that I'd follow. Ooh, that's a gammy looking fish, but it's got some energy. Jeez. Right. Go right into all the weed. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a fired up little guy. We are drifting fast now as well. <laughs> Not making things easier. Yes, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Easy star. Try to get you in. It feels heavy. I've not even seen it properly yet. But I can tell it's got some sort of gamminess to it. There we go. Best fish of the day. It's been hit by a propeller or something, that one. Or a bigger pike. Look at that guy. It's not a huge fish at all, but I just want to show you that's cut across it. Right. One on that side as well, but what do you reckon's caused that? Pike or propeller or something, but yeah. Not the healthiest looking dude, but um, yeah, I'll take that all day. Here on the pause and uh, yeah, super fight, so get us back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, my rod fell in. Good job I had all of my bait still. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that, but yeah, there we go. Good job the bait was caught up in the net because my rod was uh, in the bottom of the river. But yeah, two fish on the headbanger now, missed two. Still got probably 45 minutes left to fish, so yeah, we should get another one now, I reckon. We shall see though, but yeah, hooker ratio has, ratio has not been too bad. The uh, Lamostique rod doing well as well, so yeah, keep fishing, keep catching, hopefully and uh, yeah, have some fun. Oh, my reel sounds a little rough now it's been in the bottom of the river. Not to worry though. Nice to actually be able to use a net on something today as well. It's all too easy to just rip it in and forget about the pauses, but I'm pretty sure those last two fish were both when I paused the bait, that one definitely was anyway. So yeah, I can always remember to stick a pause or two in when it, whatever sort of bait you're fishing, but it's top waters especially, give give them a uh, chance to take it. Pike will be looking for an opportunity such as a pause or something like that where they can just pounce. So yeah, make sure you always stick a pause in your retrieve. Follow it. Was it? I don't know, it looks like, oh yeah, it's a follower. Decent fish as well. Decent fish. But it's gone. I saw that bow waving after it then. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. That was a cool hit. My drag was way too loose. That was a cool as hell hit then. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. Hey, it's not too bad at all, that. Compared to average sample that I've been getting today anyway. Come here, big boy. Whoa. Gotcha. Number three. That's more than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Both hooks in his mouth. 
well wanted that. Get them out of him. One, two, here we go. Not even long after that last fish that, but yeah, third one on the top water. We're drifting fast, so I'm gonna get casting straight away. I don't wanna miss this bit. Straight to weed. That was awesome, that. Proper nice hit. <laughs> so hard to maintain a decent kayak speed with the wind and the flow pushing me down but hey three fish missed two the hook at rate is way better this rod's super nice as well for uh it's total water fishing, it's nice and soft to get a good fight, but it's um, stiffing up. And another one. What the hell? And another one, like two casts later. Ooh, is this one better or is it just fighting hard? Oh, it's a little better. We're gonna crash. <laughs> Anchor down for this, so we're drifting way too quick. That was so quick after that last one, have they just switched on or something? Ooh, what a fight. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome, this. Another de decent fish. A little, little dance. Man, strong fight. It swallowed the bait as well. Easy buddy. Easy buddy. That one wanted it. Holy cow. And he soaked me again. Oh, nearly an touch of it. It was well hooked, spat one of the trebles. Not a bad fish again, that. <laughs> Yeah, not a bad fish at all for this place. On the top water, super cool strike, super cool fight. Oh man, this session's turned out all right. That was literally too fast after that last one. Crazy guys. I found a little spot where they're hanging. Oh man, the wind is brutal now. We've only got about 10 minutes left, I think, though, so yeah, I'm not going to worry about it too much longer. Hopefully, we can pick up another fish in that time. I mean, it all looks perfect. Same as where we've just caught those last three, really. Nice, quite deep, but we've got a decent stream of weed and stuff to fish through, so I feel like we've got a good chance of pulling out another fish before we go. But yeah, it's been good already. Four fish landed on this. Real nice. All right, guys, so I didn't manage to get the one last fish, but four pike in like an hour and a half session was yeah, really good. They really loved the uh, Headbanger Spitfire, so make sure you check that out. I'm not really affiliated or anything with Headbanger, but it's a nice little top wall there. You can get it in slightly bigger size as well, I think, but yeah, nice small size. You know, if you want to use it on a light rod like this, um, the 721 gram Lamos Deke, also really good rod, as you saw. Had some fun fights, cast the bait amazingly. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. So make sure you check them out. I'll, I'll leave a link to the rod, reel, bait and everything in the description. It's like a 40 quid reel as well. So yeah, this full casting set up, probably 120, 130 pound. Um, so yeah, really quite a budget set up for uh, yeah, a bait casting top water <laughs> rig basically. Does the job catches fish and it's good fun to use so yeah like i said i'll leave links in the description to what i've been using like usual hope you guys enjoyed that hopefully we'll get some more top water videos done this year just need to buy some more top water those and uh yeah that's it so uh catch you guys next time